So let's say you've got all your selling tools lined up. You've got a registered patent. You've got a working prototype and a well-researched and thorough marketing report. So now you're finally ready to solicit licensees. What is the most effective approach? Probably the best bang for your buck are trade shows. At these conventions, anyone who is anybody shows up to show off their new products and exchange information. These shows are perfect venues for pitching your invention. Prior to the event, request an exhibitor directory from the organizers of the convention. From this list, narrow it down to the best companies to approach with your idea. If you decide to sell or license your invention at a trade show, one option you may want to consider is setting up your own exhibition booth. Be aware that this can be expensive. However, it can significantly increase your chances of making meaningful contacts. This is because agents, product scouts, and potential licensees are always walking the exhibit hall. Be aware that these VIPs often cruise the booths anonymously. Many of these VIPs actually refuse to purchase or wear VIP badges that would give them extra status. Often they will attend wearing street clothes and a visitor badge. Why do they do this? Many times they do it to avoid being hounded by exhibitors. So the bottom line is, treat everyone like they are a VIP. Other ways you can make initial contact with potential licensees is by writing a solicitation letter or making cold calls. The most effective way to do this is to mention a referral. It's important, however, that the referral is genuine. In a letter, you can give the longer version of your elevator pitch, followed by a request for a meeting. Be sure to mention that you have patent protection and a working prototype, if it's available. When you're making phone solicitations, you need to use the short version of your elevator pitch. If you have a referral, mention that person's name right away. Again, mention that you have patent protection and a prototype you can demonstrate if you have one. Another source you can strongly consider for finding potential licensees is intellectualpropertystore.com. This website attracts thousands of people and companies that are actively looking for new business opportunities. Many of them are very interested in intellectual property that can be commercialized and turned into a thriving business. Instead of making cold calls and knocking on company doors to find these people, why not let them find you? When you place a listing on this site, you can use narratives, pictures, and movies to pitch the commercial marketability of your patent. This is a very powerful and time-saving way to either sell your patent outright or license it. The important thing to remember when you make initial contact with a potential licensee is that your primary goal is to arrange a full demonstration of your invention at a meeting in the future. Don't start with a long-winded presentation. Be concise. Make sure you describe the problem your invention solves and how your invention will solve it better than what is currently available. Also point out the huge potential market size and the profit potential if your invention was commercialized. Other important issues to bring up in an initial meeting is the status of your patent protection and whether a working prototype is available. Also, mention any special credentials that will strengthen your credibility. At the end of your pitch, give them your business card and any written marketing materials you may have. The most important thing, however, is that once you've hooked them, you need to reel them in with a call for action. Be sure to ask for a future meeting. At the end of every discussion, make sure to ask each person you come into contact with for their business card. Another thing I would recommend that you do when you're talking to prospective licensees is to ask for their advice. Don't be defensive. Often their advice can make the difference between success and failure. Remember, you're conversing with people that probably have more inside information than you could possibly know. Now let's say you've successfully sold a company to bring your invention into the marketplace. In most cases, it will now be in the company's court as to what they're willing to give you to be able to commercialize your idea. In some cases, they'll want to have the patent rights assigned to them. In this case, the ownership rights of the patent will be fully transferred from you to them. They become the assignees of the patent. As the assignor, 
you will then receive a lump sum of money or periodic royalty payments as compensation for signing the patent. It goes without saying that if you accept royalty payments as part of your compensation, it's important for you to do your due diligence to make sure that the assignee can successfully manufacture and market your invention. This is definitely a time to solicit the services of an attorney that specializes in product licensing. Another potential agreement companies will present to you is a licensing agreement. With a license, you're leasing your legal rights to your invention. If the licensee fails to honor the terms of the licensing agreement, the inventor can terminate the agreement and reclaim possession of the patent rights. It is important to note that there's a great deal of flexibility when drafting license agreements. You can, for example, limit the license for a period of time or for a certain geographical area. You can potentially license your invention to more than one company. If a company is interested in either assigning or leasing your invention, they will initially present you with a letter of intent. This document is drafted after you and the company agree on the general licensing terms. This is not a binding contract. Think of it as a first draft of the licensing agreement. Occasionally you'll be offered an option agreement. A potential licensee uses this document to prevent you from licensing your invention for a certain period of time while they make their final decision. In general, the longer the option period, the more money you should receive for the option. If all your efforts to sell or license your patent are coming up empty-handed, you should probably enlist the help of a licensing agent or product promoter. One very good way to find a licensing agent or product promoter is to pitch your invention in intellectualpropertystore.com. This listing site can be used to showcase your patent to hundreds of licensing agents and product scouts that are scanning the site daily for products that they may be interested in promoting. These professionals have major industry connections, so if you want to get your invention in front of the decision makers that can turn your idea into a reality, then decide to showcase it in intellectualpropertystore.com today. When you have a valuable patent, Another option you can consider is creating your own company to manufacture and sell your invention. If you're considering this option, you need to check out newbusinesscreator.com. This website will give you the information that's needed to create a successful business. It also serves as a portal to a number of affiliated listing sites that will enable you to obtain the capital, human resources, materials and marketing systems that will be required to make your dreams a reality.